It says in broadcast. Did it say? It must never be said live. live. No, it says live. Hey! There it goes. <laughs> there it goes. It never did say. It, it usually didn't says say live. On our and end, it usually says you're, live. you're now live. And we wait and we smile and we take a picture and some people get aggravated because we don't start talking immediately. But I'm sorry. Um, it's <laughs> August the 29th on a Tuesday at we're a little late, 4.03. 4.03. Central time in Alabama. Yes. Alabama. <laughs> it's thundering, but that doesn't mean anything. It is. I'm going to tell you something. It was supposed to be cooler this week. We were supposed to get some rain this week. And I know it's only Tuesday, but yesterday so was hot. Today was hot. You know what? What? So, last night, Jason went to bed a little bit early. I did. I was tired. Mary Carl and I stayed up, and we played. Uh-huh. And so, I told Mary Carl, be quiet. <laughs> be quiet. Well, it doesn't work when I tell her to be quiet. That just means the door <laughs> slams a little harder. Anyway, she went into the den, and she came back and told me it was raining. Was it? And I said, <laughs> I started laughing because. You didn't hear it. Well, no. Uh -huh. So we turned off everything in the room to listen to see if it was raining. I couldn't hear it. I was in her room. Mm -hmm. I couldn't hear it. I looked at the radar. The radar showed nothing. I swapped to my undependable radar, and it showed it was raining. Really? We didn't get very much. I saw it was wet this morning, so <laughs> it did rain, and that we was, get... what, 9 o'clock? Yeah. So you know, yesterday... It was red, and it went right. I mean, it was. It looked like we were going to get an inch of rain because it was red and green and yellow, and it was all headed to us, and it was slow moving, and we got less than a tenth so, of an inch. One tenth of an inch. Less than one tenth of an I inch. I need to address something. What? We talked about this one time that somebody put this bubble around us to yes. where we wouldn't get rain. Right. Okay? No, bad weather, not rain. We wouldn't get bad weather. Mm-hmm. But then we recently got an email that told us that we need to ask that person to, to put that bubble. bubble around us to remove that bubble. I think I told Lester, I, matter of fact, because I watched some of his live night before last, and he was saying the same thing. You know, the rain will go open up and go around them and go around them. And, and I feel like it's doing the same thing for us. And I was wondering if he had a bubble, too. And I told him he may have a bubble as well. Well, maybe you can lift Lester's bubble, and yeah. he can lift yours, maybe and we can so. all be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of rain. Yes. The people that are down in South Florida, Mid-Florida, mm -hmm. y'all are fixing to get some rain. And I hope that's all you guys get. And I hope so, too. I really do. I mean, we, of course, everybody that lives in, you know, near the Gulf of Mexico you watch that Gulf. You do. And um, go, you Even never as know. Even far north as we are. Yeah. You yep. still watch you the still Gulf. You still watch the Gulf. And um, I saw that it, at first it, it wasn't moving that far east, but now it's moving really far east. And so it's. um. So if you guys are one of the ones that are in the path of that storm. We are thinking of you guys for yes. sure. And we, we hope that it's no more than a rain event. Yes. I thought you was going to say something else. I was, and then I didn't know what I could say. <laughs> oh, my God. I know that Amy at Misty Dawn Farm yeah. is in Stark, Florida. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if they are in the path of the storm or not, but I think it probably would be in that area. I'm sure they'll be affected. Uh, but one... she's across Florida. Okay. Now does that one... make sense? It does. At one time, it was headed straight for Greg and Sheila over there, Hoss Tools. And I think it's kind of shifted a little bit from east of them too, but they'll they'll still get a good bit of rain off of it, which and, they do need. And we're not going to get any rain off of it, but initially, hopefully, that was, we'll get something off of it. Well, it looks like it's going to go up the east coast. Yeah, you so, know what I'm worried about, and I hadn't seen anybody talk about it. I look from them. I ain't looked at it this afternoon, but it just shows it hooking and going back out into the Atlantic. I'm worried once it gets back out, you know, it could swing back around and do all kind of crazy things. I don't, I'm hoping once it's gone, it's gone. Adios. Yeah. And I don't even know how to, Ad Adelia, Ad 
I don't, I don't know, know how, how to say, say it. it. I don't know how you say it. I know. What that, about our friends at uh, Brown Homestead? Yeah, our Brown Farmhouse. They are near the Orlando area. Miss Sue. Yeah, Miss Sue. She's over in Orlando. Miss Linda. Yep. She's in Orlando. I don't know y'all. There's yet. lots of y'all. We is. don't know all your names, yep. but just know we're thinking about you. Yep. That's right. We are thinking about each and every one of y'all, and our event is still scheduled for September the 9th, and that will be in Jemison, Alabama, That's at right. Petals from the Past, where we will have Ryan the Roaster set up with our coffee yep. next to our canned ham, which That's is right. our little vintage camper. Um, I got it all cleaned up, got my curtains in, got it all spiffy for y'all to take beautiful pictures <laughs> in front of. <laughs> So, if y'all are in any way, shape, form, or fashion able to make it over there, we'd love to meet y'all. It's absolutely free. Yep. And it'll be an all-day event from 9 to 4. And we can't wait to see all you guys there. That's right. Yep. Just and wear some... Shorty shorts. Shorty shorts. Because it's going to be probably warm. Uh, we saw um, Clack. Yep, we did. At the uh, Clack Shack. At the Clack Shack. Yep. And if y'all... Well, he made this sign that y'all are saying is crooked, but I can't figure out which way it needs to go. I so think it looks okay today. Some good. days it is crooked because I take it down. When me and Mary Curl watch TV in here, my head hits it. You just about hit me in the eye with your finger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I take it down. Anyway, yep. Mr. Mister Clack, Mr. Clacky yep. at the Clack Shack, he has a YouTube channel, made us this sign, and he'll make you one too if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> So we saw him today downtown Chilton County mm -hmm. eating lunch, and um, he's all kind of excited. He's going to have a machine at the meet and greet to he where is. he can show y'all some of his creations. He does like these three D etchings and stuff. And he he's does have all a kind of stuff that goes over the top yeah, of my head. He does. Yep, really, really does. I wish I understood that kind of stuff, but you know, I'm kind of like not good at computers mm -hmm. so therefore that kind of stuff is like if you give it to me i appreciate it mm -hmm. but learning how it was made mm -hmm. is not going to happen yeah it, it goes over my head too i just appreciate that he's the man that makes it yeah i agree everything he does is pretty cool he does he does all kind i mean i was gonna crazy. show that coaster i don't we showed it before but yeah he does all kinds of amazing stuff over there so, if y'all are interested in anything like this, he can make it for you. Just yep. reach out to him at The Clack Shack. C-L-A-C-K Shack. Right. He lives right down the road from us, too. He does. Right down the road. we got to make a visit over there to him at some point. Yeah, he's a smart man. Like I said, I just sit back and listen. Now, some of you guys have probably been seeing here recently, and I've seen some comments on it, the, uh, the little short videos that I'm making on Facebook. And what I'm trying to do is, is trying to, because I'm getting a lot of, we're still getting people saying, well, we don't see you guys anymore. We don't see you on Facebook anymore. How come you're not on Facebook? And most of you guys know that Facebook quit paying us for our long form videos, even though ads were still running on them. So somebody was getting the money. And so I just stopped. I just stopped because I'm not making them any more money you know, than they already got. I mean, they're gazillionaires over there. And so I stopped and I was trying to get everybody over to YouTube to watch our long form videos. So I had an idea and that was, is make these little sh short clips that, uh, that I think are entertaining in our longer long form videos. And it says at the end of that, watch the full episodes on YouTube. So I'm hoping that some of these, you know, some people that don't watch the lives or miss something or don't know where we are, that uh, that may be, you know, luring them to find us again. So that, that's why I'm doing those. Uh, I saw some people say, well, I've already seen this or didn't you just do this one yesterday? But yeah, the long video, but this is just little bitty, just little bitty clippets of those videos. And I'm just trying to reach out to people that don't know where we are. So, and I don't think it's probably any of y'all because if you're I don't watching, think so either. If you're watching this live, you probably know all the ins and outs of right. what we do on a daily basis. But it's more so people that it doesn't show up in their feed and they're depending on Facebook to show them those videos. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to happen because we're not going to go and post long form videos 
anymore on Facebook. Right. It's just not right. And it's now happening to Judy at Sneed's Farmhouse Sanctuary. Yep. And um, I think it's just a trickle-down effect. I think it'll eventually affect pretty much everybody. The glitch so. that has happened. I and, don't know what's going on, but it's crazy. Well, there's no assistance. And without any assistance, I don't see anything yep. ever getting taken care of. Exactly. I just saw Miss Sue on here. And Miss Sue, if you just tuned in, please know that we're thinking about you and hope that it's just a little rain event down in Orlando. Absolutely. And I saw the Head Family Farms on here, too. Well, they're not in Orlando. But... No, but I just saw them say, hey, folks. Well, hey, hey, Head Family <laughs> I, Farm. Got to do like my... Hey, folks. I don't have a hat on, but I'll salute hey, you. Hey, folks. Okay. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Oh, it's thundering, Don't worry about the rain because it's not going to happen. <laughs> Maybe we say that. Unless it Lester's, will happen. Unless Lester's on here and he missed that. He, he lifted the bubble. He may have lifted the bubble. He may have. Because we lifted his. <laughs> so do us a favor and lift oh, it back, buddy. Man. Oh, look. Chestnut Hills. Hey, Zoe or Nick. All right. Or both. Good deal. Uh, Ryan, the roaster, told me he was going to be a little late, but he was going to be. He's going roasting, late. isn't he? He's roasting. Y'all make him do some work. He <laughs> is getting too much time on his hands. So <laughs> this is just a short tidbit about our coffee. It is available on our website, which is www.podkillfarm.com. <laughs> www. It is available in whole bean or ground. And so decaf. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Right. If you hadn't tried the coffee, give it a try. Your next order, you'll probably be ordering four or more bags. Right. That's what we've been seeing. Anyway. We have been seeing that a lot. So y'all keep really Ryan have. busy. He needs something to do. He needs something to do. Uh, I kind of got an exciting big announcement to make. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. And I ain't pregnant. <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. You know, every time somebody makes a title in this... And it's a man and a woman, and it's like, you won't believe this. We got big. We got big news. They always say we got big expecting news. Big expecting. We ain't expecting. <laughs> ain't nobody here expecting. <laughs> oh, my gracious. Oh. My mama ain't expecting. <laughs> ain't nobody expecting. No animals that we know of. Nobody. nobody. We ain't got the first pink or blue ribbon to show y'all. That's right. But we do have some big expecting news. That's right. <laughs> big expecting news. You got to title this podcast. We have expecting news. And, and I'm going to be holding my belly. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I could do the title in pink and blue. Yes. Somebody said it's Vidalia. I think that's right. Except take the V off. Idalia is the hurt. It's the storm. See, they know, they know how we are and. How they break it down to us, and before I appreciate that. Before it had a name. Yeah. Before it had a name. Yeah. Okay? They thought it was just going to be a tropical storm. Right. But I saw, here I am, not talking about the expecting news yeah. anymore. <laughs> she is, though. <laughs> I, I saw the pronunciation for it because they knew it was going to be a difficult name. It too. was going to be a different one. All right. So, what's this expecting news? So, I, I can tell you, I got the idea... From a buddy of mine. I think we ought to draw this out. It's 4.15. Let's announce this at 4.55. <laughs> That's how the other people do it. We're not going to do that. We're not <laughs> going to do that. I got this idea from a buddy of mine, and that's the Texas gardening guy. If y'all love gardening, y'all please go check him out. The Texas gardening guy. He's on YouTube. He's everywhere. He's on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. He is everywhere. And he does. There's Ryan. That he does gardening in his backyard, and he does it in a lot of it in containers. So a lot of you guys that don't have a lot of space, uh, Destin is an amazing uh, resource. He is, and he's very entertaining. He's high energy. There he is right there. The Texas garden guy. You know what? Since he's a gardener yes. and he's in Texas, I bet he had not been getting a lot of rain. They probably not. And I also bet that he's going to appreciate that you lifted that bubble uh, to allow so. rain to fall in Texas. Probably so. So he mentioned to me about this, and it made perfectly good sense. All right, so a lot of you guys have been saying, we need to write a children's book. You need to do a children's book. You need to do a children's book. And I agree, I would love to do a children's book. 
I first don't know, things first. I don't know anything about children's books. I don't know anything about writing a book. I don't know any, I don't know how to get started on a book. But we're expecting. <laughs> I don't know anything about that whatsoever. <laughs> but he, he asked me, because he's got a podcast. He did a podcast interviewing me that's coming out this week. Matter of fact, it comes out tomorrow. Uh, go to his channel on YouTube, YouTube, and he's got a premiere. It tells you what time. I think it's 7 o'clock. But go to uh, the Texan Garden Guy channel, and the podcast will be there tomorrow. Um, he said, off camera, he said, have you ever thought about starting a children's channel? And it that hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, that is, why, why have we never thought about that? Never thought about it. So I wasn't, I left during part of their conversation. Yeah. And I got back home. I actually went and picked up lunch. I got back home and Jason met me downstairs with the most exciting look. I was on his so face. excited. I was so excited. And he said, Destin is awesome. You would love him. He's just like us. He is. And he gave me a great idea. And I and I did not hesitate. So when once he told me about that, it was on, y'all. So I immediately, I immediately uh uh, sent Jacqueline head and head family former message because y'all know she's my right hand partner in crime. I always say, I hate to say right hand man because she's a lady. So I'm just she's your call, right hand woman. I'm gonna call her my partner in crime. She ain't expecting that. She's not expecting either. <laughs> I said, I this is what I want to do. I said I want a logo for it, and I said I want to make a, a a kids channel on YouTube. And I told her what I was looking for. I wanted it colorful. And she didn't hesitate. Within an hour, she had my new logo there. Uh, later that afternoon, she had my banner ready. Uh, I got the channel already set up. Oh, we don't have any videos yet. But we plan to post our first video Saturday morning. Saturday morning. I thought about Saturday morning cartoons. And that's what I thought about. So Y'all know how many conversations we have sat here and had about Saturday morning cartoons cartoons and i've told y'all over and over that i wasn't one of the ones to sit down in front of the tv and watch cartoons mm -hmm. while jason was and it takes you know all different kinds to right, make the world right. go around but i think back when mary carl was growing up and then it, she ain't grown yeah but we ain't expecting right so i think back when she was coming up and the things that she wanted to sit down in front of and watch and that was Animal education. Yes. And guess what? We have got just the tools to make that happen here at Cog Hill Farm. Absolutely. And that is Cog Hill Farm Kids. Yep. And anybody can watch it. So that's the name of the channel. It'll be called Cog Hill Farm Kids. And I'll we'll let you guys know exactly when it's going to go. And we'll send links out and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but it will be... it. Reason why we're calling it kids and marketing it, or not marketing it, but saying it's for kids is because we want it to get on the YouTube Kids app. Um, so it will be there's a check mark where it says, um, is this is this video for children? And if you click yes, then the comments are shut down and there's no target advertising because that's illegal. Um, it's just random child friendly ads, and so that I wanted to let you guys know that it will be clicked just for kids, but anybody can watch it. So it won't be. I, and you may find it entertaining at 90. I, I, I think so. I think everybody is going to like it, but also I want it to be on the kids app. I want it to be real kids friendly, but I wanted you guys go over there and start watching. And you're like, well, we can't comment on it. Well, YouTube, if it's for a child, they cut the comments off for obvious reasons. I mean, that's right. Yeah. So, it's going to be fun. I want it to be educational, um, but I want it where everybody can watch it. And so, and, and you can you can turn this channel on for your kids. Yes, and you won't have to be concerned. You won't have to worry about it. Not that you have to worry about it now. Yep. But if they get in and they start strolling through comments, there's no telling what they're going to read. Oh yeah, right. But on the kids app, there is none of that. You yeah. will be perfectly safe with your kids turning on Cogill Kids and yes. not having to to worry about it. absolutely and i saw misty dawn farm is on here and she said her kids are gonna love it oh good so my hope my hope when jason said this my first thought was schools 
and I hope we can eventually get this to where teachers can use it in their classroom. Right. And it can be an educational tool for them. Maybe not to take the place of a class, but, you know, at 2.30 in the afternoon when kids are trying to go home on a Friday, the teacher could cut this on and they could have a bit of fun and just maybe laugh and giggle and, and say, you know, I watch Cog Hill Kids. Yes. And get happy. I think so. I think so. And I got a gazillion ideas in my head and it may evolve. It, I, I don't I don't know exactly how it's going to work out, but I'm super excited about it. And I can't thank Destin enough for the idea. Yeah. Without Destin, it never would have happened. I never would have thought about it. Um, you, you may think that that <laughs> is totally crazy. Why hadn't we ever thought about it? But you're, sometimes when something's not in front of yeah. you, you just don't. Don't right. Work that way. That's that's true. And you, you don't have to watch it on the YouTube kids app. You can watch it on YouTube. You don't, it does not have to be. It's just that I wanted it to be available for the YouTube kids app. And so once I once I mark once I click it is for children, then it will be for it will be available on the YouTube kids app as well. And here's another thing, y'all. It is a separate channel. Yes. You're not going to find these on the Coghill farm because it's again marketed for kids right. so there has to be a second channel it'll start out with absolutely no subscribers yeah it'd be zero. <laughs> so um it'll be an audience build kind of thing yep. we don't expect it to you know become a million followers overnight right but we want this to be educational for kids right and i think it will be yep so i'm uh, i'm excited about it so that is the big news uh you'll um matter of fact let me see here some of y'all are saying you don't see it yet. It's probably because I haven't posted anything yet, and it's a brand new channel, so YouTube is kind of... I typed it in last night, and I couldn't find yeah, it. Yeah, it, it, it'll be hard to find. But I wanted to show you guys the logo that Just Jacqueline made. That so you don't see all your other stuff. There you go. And um, y'all check it out. We love it. Isn't we that cute? love it. It kind of reminds me of a crayon. That's what I wanted. I wanted it with a crayon, and I wanted a little bit color, and... Uh, I still wanted our, you know, our logo. Oh, hold it up. A little. And, but at the same time, I wanted it to look like, you know, something, you know, like <laughs> a kid. So I was telling my friend Catherine at G&G Farm about it. Yeah. I haven't really told anybody. So if you're one of my friends and I didn't tell you, don't feel bad. <laughs> it's just so happened that she and I were talking and talking about new and exciting things. And she wanted to know, is Jason going to sing silly little songs? And here was my response. He dances a lot better than he sings. <laughs> so while I don't know what will happen, I don't think there's going to be any singing I unless don't. it's done by a goose. I want it, you know, I started redoing research and started looking at a lot of uh, kid channels. And, but, you know, you made a mention of Jeff Corwin, yes. which we love. Yes. And Steve Irwin. Yes. And Wildcrats. Do you remember Wild that? Wildcrats. Uh, you know, I was thinking it, you know, along those lines, but at the same time, I don't know. We'll, Make we'll, it I'll our own. It we'll, we'll figure it out. Yep. We're not going to copy yep. anybody else's ideas. Yep. It's going to be our original ideas, but um, I don't think we're going to have any problem making it work because we're both goofy in our own way. Not oh, yeah. to say all kids are goofy. I don't mean that, but I think that kids can relate to that kind of behavior. Mm -hmm. And I've also seen some ugly comments by adults that, you know, say we're corny and, <laughs> and, and well, therefore we're not you, for them. You, you don't have to watch, <sighs> but the kids I think will enjoy it. Oh me. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited. I'm super excited. Yep. I'm just excited for something new and for our future generation of children. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited too. They I need really something educational, yep. and I think this will be the fit. And who knows? Mary Carl may end up, you know, she's 13. She yep. she may decide on her 14th birthday that she wants to be a part of it. If she does, great. Um, we've told her about it, but right. however, we haven't said, hey, you want to be on our Coghill Kids channel? That may happen, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. See what happens. I, I think you, it's going to be a lot of lot more of the chores. You're going to see a lot more of the feeding the animals. I think it's going to be real life. You're going to see it's going to be a lot more of the animals. It won't be any fence building or anything like that. Yeah, so. no, that's not going to yep. keep a kid's yeah, attention. Exactly. And I think it's kind of like my channel. While I said initially 
my channel is going to be things that you don't see Jason doing. Mm -hmm. I think this will be the same for the kids. Yep. And so you don't have to be a kid to watch it. Anybody yep. could enjoy it. It's just going to be focused towards children. Yep. Does that make sense? That's it. It's going to be called Cog Hill Farm Kids. Cog Hill Farm Kids. Yep. That's it. And um, who knows where it will take us. It. I think I think we'll enjoy it. And if we can get a smile out of it and some of you guys tell us yep. you're children are enjoying it or your grandmother's enjoying it then that's all we need to hear absolutely i mean we're 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 here for a purpose and that is to make you guys smile that's that 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 is when um we're hoping that our first video will be out on saturday, saturday. morning that's what we're hoping saturday um, morning will be the first video it's probably going to be just more like an intro it video. will be it'll be more like an intro to get things kicked off and then you take know it from there take it from there yeah it'll be it'll be something very easy for us to to fit into our schedule which is mm -hmm. as you know we have something going on every single day right so our saturday morning live will be first and then probably eight o'clock maybe um the kids channel yeah we could do that we could uh do the live first we could do the live and introduce the channel and then everybody i know then to that there's a video. Uh, and we could share a link and all that yeah, too yeah, yeah. we'll so get it going we're gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna make this going. work and with help from y'all I hope it'll be a success. Right. We don't have a link to it yet. Yeah. Somebody said, can you share the link? There is no uh, link yet. I don't think. Let me see. There, there is one. Let's see. We can do this real quick. It won't take but just a second. We can't see y'all, but y'all can see us. <laughs> <laughs> so Jason's trying to find a link to the kids channel that he can put on the screen. So y'all can go and subscribe. And that way you won't have to wait until Saturday morning. Um, maybe maybe Jacqueline could put it on there for you something uh I'm gonna share it right here we're not gonna say it's down here or it's down here because that's not gonna be right it is there Jacqueline if you have the ability to it share post it everywhere okay so yeah, Jason put the link up but can you put it on the screen like you did it, yeah but you're not gonna be able to make right. heads or tails out of it because it's see okay see so uh, Dude, everybody else doesn't see that. Right. Because it's a new channel. I can't change that. I can't customize the. I can't customize it yet until we get enough subscribers. Well, Y'all just know that we're expecting. <clears throat> yep. We're expecting a new channel to start on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and we're excited if you can't tell. We are excited. Um, I have I have a little buddy sitting here with me. I don't really want to pick her up, but it's it's Tuesday, and I said I was going to share what she looks like every Tuesday. And I must tell you, this Tuesday, she looks better than she did last Tuesday. Her hair's getting so thick. Didi, will you let me pick you up, baby? I know, sweetie. Oh, goodness. Y'all look at this sweet baby. And look at her hair, how pretty it looks. I know. You smile for the camera? <laughs> So I've been using the medicated shampoo as well as um, the other things that the vet prescribed for DD. And mm -hmm. I haven't seen like anything over dramatic happen mm -hmm. with her mm -hmm. itching. That's not the right word. I haven't seen any big transformation with her itching, but She's better today. I, I think she may be a little better. She had some spots on her skin that you could visibly part her hair and see redness. Mm -hmm. And that has healed. So I'm seeing um, an improvement, but it's not it's not where I think we need to be. Right. But her hair sure is a much... Oh, isn't it though? It's in much better condition than it was. Gosh, how long has she been here? A little over a month, probably. I don't know how long she's been here? I have to um, look and see. But y'all, I'm I'm so happy that that she's here and that she's improving. Oh, Miss Jody. Any improvement <clears throat> is is a blessing. Yep. As you guys know, that our animals are our heart, and to help them is is what we're here for. Yep. Yep. Speaking of our animals. We had a surprise today. We did. So we actually 
we we've been trimming our goat hooves from day one for 19 years we've been <laughs> trimming our goat hooves and y'all if, if i don't know if you ever trimmed goat oh. hooves before uh misty dawn farm may have um but if you she may, hasn't had goats for long. That's true, so too. So she may not have had she to. May, you may be right. You may be right. Michael Key said he just got here, and you're expecting. I'm expecting. <laughs> oh, Mike. We're just going to leave it at that, Michael. <laughs> you got to go back and watch it, Mike. <laughs> <sighs> but we've been trimming our goat hooves for. Since day one. And and we've had goats for a long time. And y'all, it is very stressful because, you know, you're, you're worried that you're going to cut too much off. And, you know, it's just like cutting your fingernail or any type of hoof. And it, it just very it's stress, stressful. It is stressful because you don't because you don't want to hurt your animals. Every time we set aside a day to mm -hmm. do this, it is just it is built up. It is built up inside us to the point where by the time we actually go to trimming, yep. we're more nervous than the goat that's in the milk stand. Probably so. And you know they can they can sense that nervousness and that that makes them nervous. And so long story short, we've been discussing about getting a somebody that does goat hooves. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's that's what they do. They're a goat hoof trimmer. And so that's that. So I reached out to them to That's find out. To say you found somebody. What they are is they're a traveling trimmer. Yes, a <laughs> they're traveling a, trimmer. A traveling trimmer. <laughs> and so when I saw this, I thought to myself, this may be a way to ease our anxiety about trimming goat tools. And had wonderful reviews. Had run wonderful reviews. Yes. I read the reviews because that's what I do. I want to make sure my animals are safe right. before anybody comes and works on them. Right. So I reached out to them and I wanted to know when they were going to be in Alabama because they're traveling trimmers mm -hmm. and they don't travel just throughout Alabama. They travel throughout the United States. Well, you watch what you say now. I think they in the Southeast region. I don't know. Cause they said something about when they were in Ohio. Maybe so. so. I don't know. So, so they they travel. Okay, okay. they're traveling. They're traveling trimmers. trimmers. They don't just trim goat hooves. They trim pigs. They trim sheep, and they trim goats. And that's it. They don't do horses. They don't do cows. They don't do donkeys. So, so when I saw that, I thought to myself, okay, we've got a buddy that's a farrier. Yes. But doing horse hooves and doing goat hooves is totally different. Mm -hmm. So if this person does goat hooves on a daily basis, they can probably get it done like that. Yeah. Well, as you guys know, our barn's not finished. No. Nope. And so this meant that we were going to have to catch all of our goats, <laughs> in which we would have to do if we were trimming them. But if we were trimming our own, we'd catch them one by one. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that makes it so hard. If we were smart, we'd have them all contained like yeah. we did today. Right. And then get bring them, bring them out one by one. But we would have literally had a heat stroke if we had done ours. It takes us so long, y'all. It takes us. We're so. We're slow at it and we're clicking and it takes us. Is she okay? And we next thing you know, we won't be holding the foot right and she's pulling Wiggling it and us. fighting. Right. And then you see one panting yeah. and you think <clears> they're <throat> going to have a heat stroke. Yeah. Okay. Enough of that. So we got the people to come. Got them to come, scheduled to come. They came up. Of course, we, we didn't know them. We didn't know them. And y'all were, they were the sweetest couple as a husband and wife. They were the sweetest couple. And I was, you know, not because me and you get along well. Yeah. They got along together well, too. Yeah. It, and, and they worked day in and day out trimming hooves. Yes. Yeah. I mean, and they were telling us um, some stories about some of the places that they've been where the husband and wife did not get along so well. <laughs> and they said, that makes for a difficult situation when you're trying to, hit, you know, trim yep, their animals' right, hooves. Right. But needless to say, something that they used was something that came up on my Facebook market. And I've never heard of it. 
Y'all, this thing came up and it was advertising. It, it was called Hoof Balls. Hoof Balls. And so I clicked on it. Yeah. And I'm thinking that it's a website for goats. Yeah. Well, I always get excited when I see something new that's for goats. But it wasn't what I thought it was. It was like a Dremel tool. Yeah. And if y'all know what a Dremel tool is, it's a little electric thing that has a button on it that spins a wheel. Mm -hmm. But this was for goat hooves. And they made them for cow hooves, for horse hooves. But they didn't have any of that because yeah. they are focused in yep. towards goats. So they pull out the hoof balls. And I'm like, hey, you I, just saw that. I just saw that advertised this week. <laughs> but y'all, <laughs> they told me an exact time when they were going to be here. They were going to be here at 10, 10 this morning. So at 10 o'clock, Jason and I started corralling our girl goats yes. towards the area that we designed. What did we originally design that for? For a hoof trim in? No, we designed it to feed somebody separately. I don't know. I thought we had it set up where we could trim hoofs. I don't remember. Y'all probably remember. But anyway, we had the little separate place yeah, that was yeah. already built in yeah. there. So we got all of our goats in there. And we had not fed them yet. Yeah. We knew that'd be an easy way to get them in there. So we get them in there. And they have a milk stand, mm -hmm. which is what you use to milk goats on. Right. It's what we've always used to trim hooves with. So we're feeling pretty, like we're doing things pretty good. We, we're, you know, we've been doing well this whole yep. time by trimming our own goat's hooves, right? So he has this little satchel and he has um, his hoof boss, which is battery powered. Mm -hmm. And he goes into the corral with the milk stand. Mm -hmm. And Jason goes in there with him. And there were six goats in there. Yep. <laughs> so as soon as he puts the milk stand together, yep. Tip, yep. Our weather, who is our oldest goat, uh huh. He jumps up on the milk stand, and they're like, "Hey, buddy!" And Tip literally rests his head on the yeah. little thing that they. Tip did. They, what do you call it? That they use for head restraint. Yeah. And so they start making small talk and they tell us that Tip is the best goat that they've ever trimmed. Mm -hmm. And Tip's pulls were pretty good too. Uh, yeah, yeah, they were. They were all pretty good. They were, yeah, they were. But we knew that they were in need. Yes. So during our small talk with the traveling trimmers, they start telling us uh, ways that you trim your goat hooves. Yeah, they were showing us how to trim the hooves, kind of teaching me how to do it. And the way, these, the way, the way this couple works is is they come every three months so you can get on their rotation. cycle or rotation and then they'll say hey we're going to be there on such and such day or in that area on these certain days and then you schedule a day for them to come back around and so it, you know he was showing us how to do this and i was like man we really would love to get on y'all schedule i told him i said look buddy i said i appreciate you showing us how to yeah. do this and everything but i don't really need to know how as long as you're going to come back and they agreed that they would come back. Now, they said that we could go six months yeah. before they come back to us because it depends on their diet. It depends on a lot of different things. They said they have a client who feeds their goats strictly corn. Yep. And that goat needs its hooves trim before the three-month mark. Right. Now, you know, like I said, depending on their diet, right. whether what kind of grains used or whatever, if any grain at all. Some people don't even feed grain. Right. Um, it'll affect the growth of the hooves. And we find that our Nubian goats' hooves grow a lot faster than the Nigerian. Yeah, that was, that was interesting because they did say that certain breeds' hooves do grow faster. And each breed has a different type of hoof. That the boar goats' hooves are really fat. And the Nubians seem to be skinny. And the Nigerians need, seem to be kind of round. And so it was just fascinating. They were so nice. They were so knowledgeable. They were willing to teach us anything, show us everything. Even with them showing us and talking and looking, it still, y'all, it was like boom, 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 boom. They boom, were boom, gone boom. by 11 o'clock. Done. It was amazing. They were done by 11 o'clock, and we had to catch the boy goats. Yeah. And they loved on Moody. Love Moody. Because he was the biggest Holstein mm -hmm. they had ever seen. Um, he found out that 
Joe was in milk, and boy, that was that was a good subject. <laughs> um, so, and that was really funny because they do thousands of goat hooves, <laughs> yeah, and they've they never, have seen, never a buck seen a milk. boy goat in milk. <laughs> and they said, "Can you milk him?" And we said, "Yeah, only if you'll drink it." <laughs> so we didn't milk Joe today. And matter of fact. He didn't even use the milk stand for the boy goats. He didn't. He did those guys on the ground. Any take them? Because the boy, that's what I told him. I was like, look, our boy goats are so easy going and friendly. And um, besides. We didn't have them caught. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we just waited until we were yeah. finished with the girls yeah. and the boys walked right up to them. So, yeah, it, it was it was really, really easy. Really so, easy. I must say this. The hoof trimming that we have had anxiety built up about mm -hmm. for 19 years now is gone <laughs> it's gone <laughs> it's gone i will get these guys and girls to come and trim our hooves on like clockwork yeah i agree so when they come they're going to come back to us in march and at maybe that, november for the pigs well it was up to us yep the pigs could use trimming in november or we could wait until march. march yep but Loretta and Gus were okay right now. Mm -hmm. But by that time, they're going to need a trim. Right. And so is Peaches. Right. And so if y'all know anything about pigs, that back part of their hoof, it gets unruly. It and if does. you let it go too long, it can really cause some serious problems. Mm -hmm. um, when, what did, when Peaches went to Auburn, mm -hmm. she, ha Derek actually <clears throat> did Peaches. He did. Um, Peaches went to Auburn when she had her stomach problem. They trimmed her hooves then. And then we had a farrier come out and look at Moody and he trimmed Peaches right. at that time. So Peaches will be ready in, in November or March along with Loretta and Gus. But I've got their card. And um, if you guys are interested in, we didn't get anything for free. They didn't know we had a YouTube channel. We didn't channel. even tell them they had a YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> they had no idea. They had no idea who we were. Had no idea we had a YouTube channel. Never asked what we did no. or anything like that. So I'm passing this information along to you guys simply because they helped us. And if you guys have goats, pigs, or sheep, they don't shear sheep. They trim sheep's hooves. Then um, this may help you guys. And I don't know how we can make this show up. But it's... um. We can take a picture of it if we need to. It, it, it's got their... It's got their phone numbers on it, but I don't think you're going to be able to read that. So maybe we can. Um, maybe so. <clears throat> it's called Rogers Hoof Trimming. And it's uh, Dylan and Nicole. And they got a Facebook page. Yes. Their Facebook page is Rogers Hoof Trimming. Mm -hmm. I'll try to share it on the Cog Kill Farm I think that'd Facebook be good. page. Yep. And, um, <clears throat> you can reach out to them if you're interested because, like I said, they travel around. They're going to Florida next. They're, they were going to Florida next. Florida yep. was their next stop after they leave Alabama. And then they're going to go back up through Georgia, and I'm not sure the route from there. But mm -hmm. if it's something you guys are interested in and hoof trimming makes you nervous. <laughs> and you got a pig, sheep, or goat. That's right. Yes. Reach out to them. Reach out to them. Because um, it was beneficial to us. I saw a gazillion comments that said we built that thing for Mildred when she was a baby. Oh, that's right. So we could bottle feed her. Y'all yep. are so smart. Aren't they, though? <laughs> I knew y'all would remember. <laughs> There's no way I could have remembered. My, I just thought we made it so we could, uh, I knew. for like today. Jason, uh, we don't do things like that. <laughs> we do things when we have to have it done. <laughs> Oh me! So, uh, what about Jesse? Jesse's hooves didn't need trimming, but they don't do donkeys. No, that, that'd have to be a horse, a horse farrier. That a farrier, and we got plenty of those. Yeah. It's just that we needed somebody that specialized yep. in goats. Yep. So, um, yeah, Jesse's fine right now. Mildred looks good. Mm -hmm. Um, Moody is good. Mm -hmm. Moody had a spot that we were concerned about that was growing a little bit longer right here, and but it. it it, has since broken away from his hoof, so he's looks good. good. Yeah, he looks until really good. until we get him in the chute and actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm gonna tell you, that lifted a it's weight Rogers, off of me. Rogers, Rogers, hoof, hoof trimming. R O G E R S 
Hoof, H-O-O-F, trimming, T-R-I-M-M-I-N-G. Yep. It gives their phone number there, but I can't, I can't see it without glasses. But I know they have a Facebook page, and um, yep, yeah, they need a YouTube channel. It's what they need. They need a YouTube channel because they're very good at what they do, and I can't say enough about them. I just, I'm never gonna try to trim again. Mm-hmm. We use um, a good quality pair of pruning shears is what we were told by right. our goat friend Terry to use. Mm-hmm. Terry actually has showed us. Terry was our goat guru. Yes. Who was one of the top Nigerian dwarf breeders in the Southeast, if not the That's top. That's right. That taught us everything we know about goats, which ain't a lot. But she taught us how to trim hooves, and we always were scared that you'd, we'd go too, too deep. Yep. Because it's just like cutting your fingernail too deep. It is. It bleeds, and yes, there's bleed stop, but I don't feel comfortable doing it. Right. Uh, uh, and they didn't use that hoof boss on every one of our... Um, some of them didn't need it. Some of them didn't need yeah, it. It just depends. What about rabbit's fingernails? You can trim those yourself. Yeah, but they still have a... You still have to be careful. Yeah, you got to see that quick mm-hmm. and not go past it. But Absolutely. Um, but that was fun today. It really was fun. And it went so smooth. Nobody was stressed out. Nobody. I mean, it was just perfect. And I mean, we got told how nice our goats were and how well behaved they we were. We did and loved our farm. They got to meet Nugget. Um, First time he had ever petted an uh, emu. emu. Yep. So Nugget was a good boy. And he, was. he allowed he allowed them to put hands on him. Yep. And so was Moody. Moody yeah. Was a yeah good Moody boy. was a good boy. Matter of fact, they have a Moody of their own, except it's only a year old. A year old. And they were like, he was like, babe, this is how big was his name? Rocky? Rodeo. Rodeo. <laughs> they, kept, they kept saying to each other, this is how big Rodeo is going to be. And I was like. So she wanted to, she wanted to ride her cow. Yeah. Because you can ride them. You, yeah. can, you can train them like a horse. And, and, and uh, so you can ride them. And, <laughs> and so he was like, no, this this is the same breed rodeo is, and she was like, she didn't believe it. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ride this. No. And I was like, he's not through growing, y'all. We got a buddy talking about Lester, and uh, he's bigger than this one, yeah. and you know, so it's a little bit older. So they 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 get big, big. Somebody asked, did we video it? We did not. <clears throat> no, we didn't. We didn't video it because. We didn't know how it was going to go, and we didn't want to make them nervous. We didn't know who they were, and but probably the next time we would. Yeah. Yeah. So we learned today that we are no longer going to attempt to trim yeah. our own goat tools. Y'all, they, I'm going to do a video on just a goat pedicure because my goat's feet are good for showing. <laughs> they look so much better than it when does, Jason um, and me do it. It does. I mean... Yep. And he could tell by the way they stood if this part needed to come out more. Mm-hmm. or And then he had a little board that he allowed different breeds of goats to stand on to make sure it was flat. Right. I'm talking about really, really yep. good. Yep. It was awesome. So are y'all tired of hearing about goat hooves? Because <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell y'all what happened to me yesterday. <laughs> so... It was late yesterday afternoon. Oh, it man. looked like it was going to rain. And I have been working on an addition to Mary Carl's Pigeon Loft that I'm not videoing because it's taken me literally nine months to get as far as I am. Mm-hmm. So no video on that, but I may video it when I get completed. Mm-hmm. Anyway, the bottom of it, she didn't want grass to grow in the bottom mm-hmm. of it because that would mean I'd have to get in there with the lawnmower and cut it. So... We've been trying to figure out what we're going to do in the bottom of it. And we decided that we would use a pile of gravel slash sand that was here on the property when we moved here. So I put landscape fabric in the bottom of it. I'm telling y'all, nine months this has been going on. One day when it was a little bit cooler last week, I put landscape fabric in the bottom of it. Anticipating using my tractor one day, going to take the gravel Mm -hmm. or, or the sand over there. And so I go to get on the tractor. Jason's working on the YouTube kids channel. If you just tuned in, that's coming. He's working on that part of it. I told him I didn't need him. 
go and I get my hat and I sit down on the tractor and I put my hat on. If y'all notice, I've been wearing my hat every time I go outside because I want to protect my skin. Put my hat on. I felt something and I couldn't figure out what it was. <coughs> Jason's outside. I don't know what I needed you for. Yeah. But you came over to where I was on the tractor I and I to said, help you do something. <coughs> Put the forks on. That's what it was. I said, something's in my hat. Took my hat off. But this time when I took it off, I looked in it. Tell them what I found. Frog. A frog A in my frog. hat on my head. Yep. <clears throat> I'm not scared of frogs. <laughs> thank God. Oh, man. Because if I had a been... I probably would have jumped like a frog off of that tractor. I'm glad it wasn't one of them peeing frogs. You know, one you pick up. It seems like when I was a kid growing up, we used to catch frogs all the time. You know, that was a self-defense mechanism. It and may have been a peeing frog. <laughs> <laughs> but if he did, he TT'd in my head. <laughs> oh, we used to think if they peed on you, you'd get warts. <laughs> so, I wish I'd had my camera handy <sighs> because he was about that big around. Yeah. And he was this color green, and he was hopping around in the hat on my head. <laughs> and I want to tell you something. We have, you know, at our other place, we had a few tree frogs. Yes. Here, y'all, this is like a tree frog sanctuary. It's not just tree frogs, though, Jason. I'm, it's it's not, all I'm, different. It kinds. is. We got all, we got, I don't know how many different varieties of frogs we got living here. But the tree frogs are amazing. Because when I think of a tree frog, I think of that green one, mm -hmm. you know, that you, you see. But we got green ones. We got brown ones. We got gray ones. We got all kinds of and frogs. And these are tree frogs that I'm talking about. They got the little suction cup fingers that climb. But, uh, yeah, we got tons of frogs here. We need to go outside one evening and video all the different kinds of frogs. Yep. Because that's when they're most prevalent is at night. We go outside, and on the garage doors, they're just suctioned. Yeah. And it's the coolest thing. It is cool. To that see is. how many different ones we have. It, 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 it And at night, when it gets just about dusk, you can hear them. Oh, you can hear them. I love that sound. Especially, it made me wish that we had flip-flopped our house with Mama's house. Oh, yeah. Because even though our pond isn't full, right. the sounds on her side of the house is so soothing. It is. I it mean, really, it, really is. It is like really frog country on her side. We, it is. I, yeah, I love that sound. And speaking of pond, y'all, if we do not get some rain, we're gonna have a big mud hole. It is, <clears throat> man, 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 man. It is. This is the worst I've seen it on the pond. Mm -hmm. But no rain. This high temperatures we got, and then it's no evaporating rain. Evaporating the water. They said Lester and Jamie are both afraid of frogs, especially Lester. I did not know that. What glad, if he had had a frog in his hat? I'm glad I got that little bit of information now. Oh, yeah. You never know when you might could use that. That's at some right. Point. Yes. Um, I was thinking today, as low as the pond is, we've got some <clears throat> plants that have kind of started growing. Yeah. Since there hasn't been enough water to right. to fill the pond. I, if I wasn't scared, I'd get the tractor stuck. I'd go down there and dig them up with the bucket. Yeah. Um, I got me Carl down there the other day because I just don't want to get my feet in that mud. I yeah. just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like to be anywhere with my shoes off, much less down in that pond. And she oh, thinks it's hilarious. Oh, man. But I got her to get down in there. Not that she minded. Yeah, she don't and mind. And yank on one of the plants. And it in. came up. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, good. So since it came up, I'm thinking that we may take advantage of this low tide, so to speak, in yeah. the pond and get rid of those plants. That'd be a good idea. Because I'd rather pull pull them up by the root. Than and we can catch some frogs. Spray. We're not going to eat them. Remind me, rem no, remind me when I was a kid. Frogs and lightning bugs. Well, lightning bugs Man, for sure. I used to catch. But you just don't. You don't see the lightning bugs. You don't you used see to. the lightning bugs you used to. You, you know, I don't ever see any lightning bugs around here. No, it's not like it once was. When we were kids, there were lightning bugs everywhere, even Man, in the city. Well, like you was at a disco. 
even in the city. Mm -hmm. And and then when we built our house, it feel it felt like we were back to lightning bugs. Yeah. But by the time we moved, they had deplenished again. That's, that's weird. I wonder if they. I don't know. Maybe it's good years and bad years Maybe with so. lightning bugs. Lightning bugs, and I like catching those little lizards. What uh, we call them chameleons, but they're not chameleons. What do they call? Um, the, the red red thing on their oh, throat. Oh, anole. And, yeah, that's what it is. Is that how you say it? That's it. I had one of those that I kept as a pet when I was a kid. You yeah, they sell them things in the pet store for like thirty dollars. Yes, uh, <laughs> I remember when Mary Carl was in preschool or something. <laughs> yeah. She had to do a report on something that started with the letter A. Uh huh. And I think most kids would probably do apples and uh, what's something else? That started? Oh, airplane. Yeah. Yeah. Airplane. Yeah. You know, simple things. Not Mary Carl. Yeah. She did her report on an anole <laughs> in pre K. <laughs> and you, what it was and all about it. All about yeah. it. Yeah. So Ooh. I may not be pronouncing that right. Yeah. But I had a pet one when I was little, and of course it didn't live very long. But my daddy was a funeral director mm -hmm. slash embalmer, mm -hmm. and so when it died, I had a watch box. And I think I've told y'all before how obsessed I was with watches when yeah. I was a kid. So I just so happened to have a watch box, and I buried the lizard in the cotton that was in that watch box and put the whole box down in the ground. Wow. I wonder if it's still there. I, that was probably, what, was it cardboard? Yeah, it was thing? white cardboard. It's probably, probably. Now look, I can remember what that box looked like, but I couldn't remember what that corral look, was for. <laughs> That's not normal. Oh, man. Yeah, some people call them fireflies. We always Fireflies. call them lightning bugs. Yep, Louis yep. the lightning bug. Oh, Louis the lightning bug. You remember that commercial? I do remember that commercial. It was a power company, wasn't it? It was. Um, you got to play it safe around power, power lines. lines. <laughs> See, we're going to teach kids well. We? <laughs> oh, man. We're going to sing songs. We said we weren't. Oh, my gracious. That's funny. Louis the lightning bug. Louis the lightning bug. That's funny. That That's brings funny. back memories. Don't it, though? That Gosh. reminds that one and the other one was the uh because uh, those were in between the I cartoons. I was trying to think of another one. It was a hankering for a hunk of cheese. Remember that one? And then the one about the bill. Uh it was the bill. He was sad, but he got happy and the bill passed. Uh, that was another I don't one remember that. I remember that one too. But I remember hankering the play it safe hunk around of cheese. I remember play it safe around power lines. You gotta play it safe around power lines. Yeah. Was it too. Alabama Power or the Power Company? No, I think that was a nationwide, nationwide campaign. thing. Yeah, yeah. Schoolhouse Rock. Yep, that was it. Well, what was it? That was another. In between cartoons, they had those little mini shows uh -huh. that would teach kids something. And Schoolhouse Rock was the name of it. Well, look, even Jacqueline and Zach remember it. They're just remember babies. Louis the Lightning Bug? No, Schoolhouse Rock. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I think that just played on forever. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Isn't it funny how old things make you bring back so many memories? Don't it though? When you start thinking about I'm things. just a bill. That's it. I'm just a bill. I'm sitting on Capitol Hill. I remember that. <laughs> I remember <sighs> that. Huh. There it is. Well, we Conjunct got... that's it. Con conjunction junction. I remember that one too. Well, how did it go? I just remember conjunction junction. Wow. Huh. Somebody said 500 subscribers on Cog Hill Kids. All right. Wow. I don't have a video yet. Don't have a video. <laughs> we got a channel because we're expecting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gracious. Oh, goodness, y'all. We got <sighs> the sillies. Oh, uh, I do want to answer this because I've seen it. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? I remember that. But what was it related to? Conjunctions. Like, like grammar? Yes. Huh. They were what teaching was the point of advertising conjunctions? It wasn't an advertisement. It was just little mini Oh, to help you remember it? In between, yeah. Huh. Conjunction. Like, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your function. children are? No, that was... Do you know what that was? Do you know what that was from? I do not. You don't know what that was from? I don't remember. So there was a... This, we're, this is... We're going from happy to not dark, but 
there was a serial killer in the Atlanta, Georgia area, and kids uh, were coming up missing. And so, well, that's, how old were we during that? Because I remember it. That would have been in the early seventies. I'm thinking. Jason, I wasn't early alive then. Yeah, but that that whole thing kind of was kind of. What do you want to say? Evolved into something. Just became a cult. Okay. You know, just. Okay. Part of knowledge. Just part of something you say. You hmm. know, it's ten o'clock. You know where your children are. That you know, it just became a popular saying. But that's where that came from. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So you said you had to address something. Oh, one other thing was is a lot of people want to know where your shorty short overalls came from. Oh, well, y'all, I didn't intend on buying them <laughs> because when I tried them on in the Duluth Trading Store, That's we have one in from. Hoover, Alabama. Yep. They came down past my kneecaps, mm -hmm. and I immediately said, "This is a no go for me because I got short legs." Well. I started thinking about it after I saw them on sale for half off. And it's too hot around here to be wearing pants overalls. Mm -hmm. So when I saw them half off, I said, you know what? I'm going to order those and see if my thinking was I could get Mary Carl to hem them. Yep. Well, Mary Carl told me she didn't feel comfortable hemming them. And I understand that. So I reached out to a lady that was local to me. And ask her if she could roll them up a couple of times and put a stitch in them. Mm -hmm. And she did just that. So I bought them half off from Duluth Trading. Duluth Trading. That's what everybody wanted to know. Where did you buy them from? And I had to was... go through that whole spiel to tell y'all Duluth Trading. I know. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Duluth Trading Company I'm sorry. is where Brooke got her overall from. Public service announcement. Yep, somebody said that was the late 60s when, but that just became part of pop culture. I don't know how that I ever 10 heard of that. Just became part of pop culture. Everybody, I mean, that was, you know, all the huh. time. Okay. Yep. Well, I didn't mean to tell y'all that whole story and not really have any point. <laughs> but I wouldn't have bought them had they been not been half off. Right. They came up. If you sign up for their email or whatever, uh -huh. you will get a million emails. <laughs> You will. <laughs> Literally, I get one yep. every day. And this one caught my eye because it was half off. And yep. they do that from time to time. But if you don't look at your emails, you're never going to know. Per Wikipedia, somebody said it from the 1960s to the 1980s is when that public service announcement came on. The 10 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's why I knew it. Maybe so. You know what's funny is, is that me and Mary Carl have been watching some older movies. Uh -huh. and um, They say it? No, and, oh. and so we're watching these older movies, and we've been watching some older scary movies, and we talked about how they're really not scary anymore. They're real funny because... It's, it's more of a comedy. <laughs> because they don't, we can't believe that we thought that was scary back then. But, so, we're watching these movies, and, you know, at 12 o'clock, it went off, and it was just static, or they played the national anthem, and then it was done. It was static, or your bars, you know, Yeah, boo! right, right, right. It was done. Yes. And so I had to explain that to her. Uh-huh. Because, you know, I was like, you know, girl, we didn't have streaming TV and you couldn't, you know. Gosh, I haven't thought about that in years. You mean when, when it was done, Those bars. it was over. And that noise would come on. Or the, ooh, yep. it was done. I mean, you need to go to bed. Yep. It's <laughs> it past was over. your bedtime. <laughs> it is past <laughs> your bedtime. So I, that reminded me of that, that here recently I've been explaining that to her that, you know, that's how it was. Boy, things change fast, don't they? <laughs> don't they, though? I mean, I, I feel like I was just a kid. And I don't want to lose that feeling anytime soon. Yep. Because I had fun then and I have fun now. And we're going to have fun on Saturday because we'll be right back here, hopefully with the intro video for our Expecting channel. Cog Hill Farm Kids. And y'all, anybody can watch it. So. Anybody can watch it. You don't yep. have to be a kid. There nope. is no age limit. Right. Uh, if, if we make you smile, then we have succeeded in what we are put on this earth to do. That's right. And if we make you frown, don't tell us about you it. You have to find another channel. Just find <laughs> you another channel. Like Lester says, there's a creator for everybody. That's right. And They're, not all creators are for everybody. And so. not all creators are created equal. <laughs> that true <laughs> when i wish we had the sign off that's what we could sign off with the national anthem playing and then the bars oh come across. goodness gracious 
we'd have to have Jacqueline to make that happen. Oh, goodness. Oh, me. Well, guys, we hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And as always, y'all be good. <laughs>